Welcome to video three of your High Impact Speaking House. In the last video, you discovered there are four elements to a high impact opening. In this video, we'll focus on the first aspect of that, your opening words. Remember, if you saw the last video, you know that TikTok has done the research and they've determined that the average video viewer, at least on their phones, gives it two and a half seconds before they decide whether to keep watching or swipe to the next one. We have a little bit longer as presenters, but not much. And that's why those opening words are critical. Before you hear the most effective ways to do that, let's talk about how not to start your presentation. Don't start by thanking the audience, referencing the weather, or beginning with a joke. The moment you use those kinds of openings, the clock is ticking. And if those opening words do not orient the audience to what's about to come, they're mentally starting to check out. They're thinking about those phones, never forget that. So that's why we don't want to say thank you, hey, how about that weather? Or I heard this one on the way to the event today. That hurts your credibility and it doesn't establish immediate rapport and start to get the audience pulled into your topic. So what are four effective ways to immediately grab interest so they want to lean in and hear more? Well, number one is to ask a question. When I was a financial advisor, I would ask a question like, do you know that 97.2% of all Americans could not retire today if they had to? That's a huge number and it catches people off guard. That question would orient them to the presentation I was about to give about retirement planning. Question is a great way to open. Second is a startling statement. You could make a case that the first statement I made is also not just a question, but a startling statement. But think about something that's unusual that people don't know about your topic that could pull them in to say, wow, I didn't know that. Number three is a quote. Now we have to be careful with quotes because these are often overused. The kind of quote that I'm talking about is one that not many people have heard, orients the audience to your topic and also has had special meaning to you. It's too easy to go online and just pull a bunch of words from maybe well-known or not so well-known people and use it to open. But if it has no impact on you, people will see through that and they'll think, mm, I'm not sure why you said that. The fourth way is my favorite. It's to open either with a story or a metaphor. Think about the videos you're watching. This is the high impact speaking house. I could come out in a presentation and say, did you know that crafting a story is a lot like building a house? It's a different type of statement. It's a combination. It's a question and a metaphor that it pulls people in with a different image because it, it gets it triggers their mental uh, movie. So they're starting to see a house and now they've got something to compare building a speech to. It's the summer of 2007. I'm standing in front of 49 professional business women. I'm about to present a retirement planning workshop. I've worked very hard on this pre uh, presentation for weeks but within five minutes, one attendee asked a question that changed the course of my career. So I started with a story and that story ultimately leads into an experience I had where I learned the power of business storytelling. Those are four ways I like to open a speech. Are those the only ones? Absolutely not. There are others and I would encourage you to put them below this video. I know some people like to sing to open up you don't want to hear me sing, trust me. These are four I found to be most effective for me and the people I've worked with. Use these and see how you can grab people's attention and get them interested for the next part of your opening, which you'll hear about in the next video. See you then.